everyone, this is Ms. Jordy, the YA Librarian at the Headquarters Branch. Thank you for joining me today. To make Galaxy Slime, you will need several colors of mica powder in colors such as blue, white, pink or purple, and black. You can also use watercolor tubes or food coloring instead. You will need liquid starch and Elmer's Clear washable glue to create your base. Several colors of fine glitter, a metal tablespoon for mixing, and three bowls, a bowl each for your three base colors. The first step is to empty a five ounce bottle of glue into each of your bowls. Next, add about one half teaspoon of mica powder into your first bowl. You can measure it or eyeball it. Then add one half teaspoon of glitter that look in a color that coordinates with your mica powder. So for mine, I'm using turquoise and blue to match the blue mica powder that I'm using. You can use only one color of glitter, but adding more than one color creates a more dynamic slime. After you've added your glitter, then mix it together. If mixture is somewhat transparent and not fully opaque, add about one half teaspoon more of your mica powder and stir until it's opaque. Now add about two tablespoons of liquid starch and stir. When you add the liquid starch, you have created a chemical reaction. Notice that the mixture is now clumping. Slime is all about polymers, which are large chains of molecules. The PVA glue we're using is made up of long chains of polyvinyl acetate molecules. And the chemical bonds are formed when you mix the glue with the liquid starch, which is a slime activator. Slime activators change the position of the molecules in the glue in a process called cross-linking. A chemical reaction occurs between the glue and the borate ions in the starch, where cross-links occur at random locations, thus slime is formed. Because my mixture is still sticky, I'm adding two more tablespoons of starch and stirring to mix it all together. Stick your hands in the slime to see if it's still sticky. As you see, mine is still quite sticky. So I'm going to add two more tablespoons of starch. As your mixture gets less sticky, you can start slowing down the chemical reaction by adding only one tablespoon of starch instead of two. Now this is a good time to really get your hands into your slime and just knead it back and forth into your hands like you would knead thread in order to mix it well and to see if it's still quite sticky. I'm going to add one more tablespoon and stir. Now I'm going to knead it back and forth again to see if it's the right density. 
and it's still a little sticky so I'm going to have to add more starch. I'm adding one more tablespoon of starch and now I'm going to really mix it again to see if it's the right density. It's a little sticky but it feels like for the most part it's good to go so I'm going to just let it rest and move on to my next base color. With my pink base color I'm just repeating the process adding the glue then adding the mica powder and the glitter and stirring. And then I'm adding the liquid starch and continuing to add the starch until my slime is no longer sticky. Then repeat the process with the black. If you want it gray, you can add black and white mica powder to create a gray color and then add your glitter and then add your liquid starch and stir and knead it as well until it's no longer sticky and then let it sit and rest. After your last base color has had a few minutes to sit, take each base color and knead it well to mix each one and then divide each of them into halves. Now take a color from each of your halves and swirl them together. And now you have galaxy slime and you repeat the process with your other half of your slime base colors. The more you mix it, eventually you will lose your swirls and it will become a sparkly gray color. When cleaning up, be sure to use warm water and a soft sponge. Soak your bowls to get the crusties off and store your slime in a plastic container with a lid or a resettable plastic bag. Thank you so much for joining me today and be sure to tag us on social media with your pictures when you make this craft. Bye bye.